the number one most elusive runner of all time, Barry Sanders. Number one. Probably the only running back I would pay to see play. Sometimes you just got to look to the heavens and say, wow. Oh, my gosh, what a run. You almost had to stop what you were doing just to see what Barry's going to do because you know he was going to do something amazing. Oh, that is one of the great runs you'll ever see, folks. That, that one is a highlight reel special. Barry's my new idol now. <laughs> um, I love the way the guy runs. When I, uh, when I uh, grow up, I want to run just like him. <laughs> I had to probably turn off uh, the brain in certain ways and just, you know, react. It's not always where the play is designed. I was never the type of runner that could run straight through someone. I always had to find another way to get around them. Barry Sanders with a move that Mikhail Baryshnikov couldn't make. We know we got to tackle this guy. One guy we can't depend on, one guy to tackle Let's this go. guy. Let's go! We got to corral it, Barry Sanders. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of that that went on. Oh man! I used to tell guys, defensive players, don't let this guy make you do the Lord's prayer. The Lord's prayer was bear get in front of you, you try to make a tackle, and you clap your hands and you fall down on your knees. Ah. <laughs> Not even trash talk could knock Barry off his game. Our number one most elusive runner averaged five yards per carry for his career. During his 2,000-yard season in 1997, he posted a record 14 consecutive 100-yard games. And the give to Barry Sanders. Cut back over the middle of the 15, breaks a tackle to the 10. Barry to the 5. Barry in. Touchdown! He could freeze you and then beat you make you stop and while you were stopping to break down he was gone nobody could stop and start like that we felt the only way we could even simulate his movement at practice was to get a couple of chickens and have our 300 pound lineman try to corral him and chase him and box him in and corner him and cut him off for all his greatness Sanders was always criticized for two things, never winning a championship and running for the most negative yards in NFL history. There might have been a couple of minus three, minus five, minus two runs, but it's the Detroit Lions. And Sidney Crawford had too many birthmarks, I guess, too, right? I don't really hold that against him. They did not have an offensive line. These guys were like the worst offensive line in the world. He really never had a real offense. I mean, he was the guy. And he had to, you know, basically run for his life just to make a four-yard game. For 10 years, Sanders carried the Lions. By 1998, number 20 was closing in on Walter Payton's all-time rushing record. But then, without warning, Sanders retired. It takes everything in you, really, to be good at it. I think you have to play it for the love of it. Once that leaves, I think it's time to leave. I was within striking distance of the record. It's a great record to have, but to play only because of the record is something that I didn't have it in me to do. Whether you agree or disagree with his decision, there is one fact that you can't dispute. Barry Sanders is undoubtedly the number one elusive runner of all time. If you put the history of the great backs in a phone booth and said, who could get out of this phone booth without getting tackled, Barry would be the guy. When we watch NFL films and we see the great runs of all time, most of them are Barry Sanders. He was just a one of those once-in-a-generation kinds of players.